can you believe this? This is it. This is the last lesson of Algebra 1. If you need to get a tissue to wipe away your tears of sadness, pause it. You need to, if you can do that, you go right ahead and do that. I understand. You don't want to show your emotions, I understand. Okay. All right, let's get to this thing. Okay, last thing we do the entire year or something ridiculous called box and whisker plots, okay? And this is what it has in it, and you might want to write this down, because you're going to be doing this for the rest of the entire book. Okay, it has five dots. It has two rectangles, which are basically boxes. That's the box part. And then lines on the end of the boxes, those are the whiskers. Okay, and I'll show you what these look like. Okay, so let's look at a, an example of how this goes and you want to write down the steps on how to do this and this will cover 30 quiz scores all right so let's take a look look at all these things man okay we can just we're basically just drawing a graph that has a certain special look to it, it has a box and it has a whisker okay let's take a look at it. all right those are <clears throat> the 30 quiz scores these are the steps so write these down number one you're going to draw a number line from the least to the greatest now the least is 56, the greatest is 96, um, but use like 50 to 100 because you don't, you know, make it nice even tens. Okay. Second thing is you're going to make dots for the least, which is 56, for the median, which you can see up here. Um, if the median, well, there's 30 of them, right? So there is no actual middle one. So what we'll do is we'll take the 83 and the 85 and go right between there, and that's our median. Okay. The least, uh, excuse me, the medium is 84, and then the greatest score, which is 96, all right? Make that three dots for those, all right? Then you can make a dot for the median score that is less than 84. In other words, less than the actual median, okay? All right? So in other words, you're making a dot for the median of the lower, uh, you know, what's below the median, basically. So in other words, you're making a dot for the median for these scores. Then, of course, you probably guessed, you're making a dot for the median scores for these 15, all right? Now, the first one's called the first quartile. The second one is called the third quartile, all right? Now, you're going to draw two boxes that connect the first quartile, the median, and the third quartile. And you'll, you'll see what this looks like in a second. The last thing is you're going to draw whiskers from <coughs> the least score to the first quartile, which is the median of the, you know, the, the median of the first median, and then the greatest score to the third quartile. quartile excuse me. All right, well, let's do this thing. Okay, so let's go back first, draw a number line from least to greatest. We'll use 50 to 100. So we'll go, there we go, and we'll call this 50, and we'll call this, I don't know, 60, and we'll go 70. Doesn't have to look perfect. Do the best you can. Make, it, make these quick ones for you. Okay, we'll just do it right there. Okay. Second thing, let's go back. We're going to make dots for the least, the median, and the greatest scores. Okay. Well, the least score is 56. We'll just put it about right there. Oops. Always do that. Okay. Nice. There we go. 84 is the median. There we go. And, uh, and our 96 is the greatest score. We'll just call it right about there. Okay. All right, we good? Okay, fourth thing is we're going to make a dot for the median score that's less than 84. Well, let's look at this. What's the median score for everything that's less than 84? And again, we picked the median of the ones less than 84 because 84 is our actual median because we went right between 83 and 85 since this is an even number. Well, there are 15. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Well, there's our median of the first median, right? So we're going to make a dot right around there, okay? Then we'll make a dot uh, for the median of the second batch, okay? We'll call this the third quartile. And we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's going to be 90. So there's our dot right there, okay? So now we're going to make basically two boxes, okay? So it looks like this. And this is an awful drawing. Your books, books boxes look way better. Okay, ink, and then we'll make a little whisker, 
and see, just following the directions here, we're drawing two boxes connecting the first quartile, the median, and the third quartile, like that. Then we'll draw whiskers from the least to the first quartile, which is this. There we go. And from the greatest score to the third quartile. There it is. Okay? And that's our box of whisker plot. That kind of tells you, you know, you've got a you've got some inf you know, approximately about a fourth of information is in those chunks. That that's what you're looking at. Okay, let's try another one. Create a uh, box and whisker plot for the following salaries of 12 math textbook editors and thousands of dollars. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and create it. Well, first off, let's put this thing in order. And it looks like we've got 18 and 19 and then 21. So let's do those. So we got 18, 19, 21. Okay, we got those. And then 24. <coughs> excuse me. We got 24. Uh, excuse me. 23, 24, and 25. So we'll do 23, 24, and 25. Okay, so that's six of them. We got any more 20s? Yes, we do. We have 27, 28, and 29. So 27, 28, 29, <coughs> excuse me, 31, 33, and 35. So 31, 33, and 35. Okay, so let's go ahead and make ourselves first off a number line like this. All right, from the least to the greatest. So I mean, the least is 18, the greatest is 35. We could, if you wanted to, just go, we could do something like, you know, 15 here, and we do 20 here, and we do 25 there, we could do 30 here, and we could do 35 there. So we don't have to use every single one of those numbers. Okay, so let's find the uh, three dots, of course. We need the least, which is 18, we'll call it, we'll, we'll say it's right, right there. The greatest, 35, right there. Now we need to find the median. Well, we have 12, don't forget, okay? So we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the 7th. Okay, we're going to circle both those because there are five on this side and then five on that side. Well, 25 and 27, what's right in the middle? 26. That is our median. So we'll call it right here. There's our medium 26. Okay, now we're going to find the median of the first part. Okay, so we have one, two, three, okay, everything uh, under 26, which will be this chunk right here, those six numbers. Okay, well, what's the median of the numbers under 26? 26, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Okay, so we won't have an exact uh, number that's right in the middle, but that is below 26. So it's one, two, three on this side, and then three on that side. So we have 22, which is right in the middle of that. So that will be our, you know, our first Ooh. quartile. So that's what we'll call it right there. And the third quartile will be the ones that are above 26, the median and those. Of course, there are still six of them. So we need to go these two, and then right in the middle will be 30, and there's our final dot, okay? Then we'll draw our little box and the whisker. Ugh, that looks awful. There we go, and there's the whisker, and there's the whisker now, okay? And there we go, okay. All right, let's take a look at something. We're gonna go backwards now. Let's go backwards. There is this plot. <clears> this <throat> shows quiz scores of 150 students. That's a lot of students, okay? Find the range, median, mode, and mean, or in other words, average. Describe the distribution of the scores. Well, look at this. Okay, you know, pause it if you want to, and let's just take a look at the actual picture. Make sure I have the right picture here. Okay, what does that picture look like? What does it tell you? And what can you find out about that? All right, well, let's go th first off the range. We can do that. The smallest score looks like it's 55. The largest is 100, so the range will be 100 minus 55, which is 45. The median, we know, is going to be what? Right there. The median is going to be 80. All right, so the number, if you stretch them all at 150 scores, the one right in the middle would be well, it wouldn't be 80 exactly in the middle because it's an even number, but the two on, on the middle averaged out would be 80, okay? The mode, can you tell which, I mean, looking at this, there's no way of telling which ones, which score there were the most of, okay? You can tell what the lowest was, 
what you know the first quartile was, the second, a uh, third quartile, excuse me, was the median and the highest. But you, there's no way to tell the mode. We don't know which, how much, which. Oh, the most score was this, 82, or, you know, 93 or whatever it was. We don't know. The mean, no way of telling. Can't tell from this. So the distribution of the scores, basically, a box and whisker plot shows you that approximately one fourth of the scores or in each quartile. Not exactly, but approximately. And that's all you can tell, okay? All right, let's try the first practice problem. Go ahead and pause that, <clears throat> and uh, we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, well, again, we can say about the distribution of the scores, about one fourth belong to each, you know, from dot to dot, so this whisker from that to there, and there to there, into the last whisker. The range, we can find that out. The smallest score is 45, the lowest was a 90, so 90 minus 45 would be 45 itself, that's the range. The median, we know what that is, it's 70. There it is, that's our median. The mode and mean, no way to tell. 100 scores, we can't tell that by this box and whisker plot, because box and whisker plots don't tell us anything about uh, the statistical analysis of all the scores. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and pause it and try the second one. You're gonna create your own box and whisker plot yourself. So go ahead, take your time and do a good one. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is put these things in order. Looks like the lowest one is 80. So let's get that first. Okay, 80, 82, 84, and 86. So that at least takes care of four of them. 82, 84, and 86. Okay, that's good. Okay, so any other 80s? No. Let's go to 90. We got 93, 93, uh, and 95. Let's try those. 93, 93, 95. Okay, let's see. We got a 98 and 98 and 100. And then we have 110 and 120. So let's make sure we have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. First off, let's go ahead and make ourselves a nice little uh, number line. We'll go all the way, and we can actually, what the heck, let's just go. We'll start at 80, all right? And we'll go, there's our 80. And we can go, you know, we'll go 90. And we'll go 100. And yours uh, doesn't have to look perfect like mine is. Okay. All right, well, we need five dots. The first dot is the least. There it is. The other dot is the most, there it is. It's the greatest score. Now, we have an even number, so we can't exactly tell what the you know, median, it won't be a certain number, the median, but it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we'll take these two here, and since we have five on that side and five on that side, we're looking at the number between the 93 and the 95, that'll be our median, so we can just call it 94. We'll just put it approximately right there. Oops. All right, now what? We're gonna take this group, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Everything under 94, we're gonna find the median of that. And again, we have these two numbers in the middle. And right between that will be an 85. So there's our 85, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we'll take the six numbers greater than 94. And it'll be the average of those two, which will be 99 closer to that, okay. And let's go ahead and draw the actual, oop, look at that, I messed up, okay. That should be 99, okay. All right, we'll draw the whisker one, and good grief, look at this whisker. Okay, and there we go, and there we go, and there's our box and whisker plot right there, okay. Isn't it sad that that was it for the entire Saxon Algebra 1 book? You did a great job, I'm assuming. Okay, hope you enjoyed those. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or whatever, feel free to contact me. And uh, hope I helped a little bit this year. And uh, hope you go on to Algebra 2 and do a great job there too. And uh, enjoyed it. And uh, blessings to you, and I appreciate you guys, and I uh, hope you have a great summer and uh, rest of the year, and you guys take care. Good to see you.